Hey everybody, it's entertaining expert Mark Addison, author of the best in the world winning book, Cocktail Chameleon. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make three classic cocktails you can make at home, just like the pros. First, we're gonna make the classic Bloody Mary. It's brunch's best friend, and honestly, it should be at any host's entertaining arsenal. Today we're gonna to be using the Kristoff Tumbler with the stir stick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna garnish my glass first. I'm gonna take a quarter wedge of lime and I'm gonna simply run it around the rim of the glass to gently moisten the edge. And I'm gonna take my favorite seasoning mix and I'm gonna dredge my glass in the seasoning mix to fully coat the rim. Give a little tap, get the excess off and set the glassware aside. I'm gonna be using a Boston style shaker set today because it's important not to shake a Bloody Mary because you'll get a big frothy foamy head on the top which is very unattractive. And what we're gonna do is a technique called rolling. So I'm gonna start off with my mixing glass and I'm gonna add two ounces of a, high, a good quality vodka. Today I'm using Chopin potato vodka. I like that it stands up to the meatiness of all the other ingredients in a Bloody Mary. Next, we're gonna add four ounces of tomato juice. Now, fresh tomato juice isn't something that you'll regularly find, so a good quality canned tomato juice is acceptable. To that, we're gonna add a bar spoon, a heaping bar spoon of horseradish. Now, a bar spoon is an essential bar tool uh, but it equates to about a teaspoon, so you can use a teaspoon as well. To that, I'm gonna add three dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And next, we're gonna add a couple of dashes of a green hot sauce. I like the green hot sauce because it has a nice, bright, spicy flavor to it. So next, we're going to add some ice to our glass. And now time for rolling. So we're gonna take the contents of the mixing glass and we're gonna simply roll it between the mixing tin and the mixing glass to fully combine all of the ingredients. And then end up with all the ingredients back in our mixing glass. Next, we're gonna squeeze a the rest of that lime wedge. We're gonna squeeze right into the glass and that'll combine together when we pour it into our prepared glass. So we have our prepared glass here, and we're gonna simply, we're gonna gently pour the entire ingredients in as to not spill it. And then we're going to simply garnish it with a lime wheel. So here we have the classic Bloody Mary. When mixed properly, it'll be the hit of your next brunch. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you picked up a few tips on creating these classic cocktails that you can create easily at home, just like the pros. Cheers.